Stop. Don't take your shirt off, bro. Please, God. F the military is an interesting place, and even more interesting is TikTok, which provides usually the best fails and cringe we see in the military. Majority cringe. So we're going to go ahead and send it, but let me know down below in the comments what you guys would want to do if you were in the military and what is the most cringe military branch. But before we start today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Aventon. Aventon's an amazing e-bike company. The frames are built to compare with the most standard bicycle accessories, making it super easy to customize your e-bike with all the bells and whistles without breaking your pocket. I've had mine for a minute and I'll be getting it. This is a top tier product and affordable price. So once again, a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Aventon. Someone suck his you know after they saw that video Bro, look, I got on camera Dude, that's so sick Put that on TikTok Me sitting in the gun turret on a convoy in Afghan It depends on where you're at If you're the gunner, you got like one hand on the gun You're like drinking a rip it and chilling You're like, <laughs> it smells like shit out here Great, I hate my life Or you're like one hand on the gun, one hand on the down You're like <laughs> Here's a clip of how that usually goes Kid, I do not have any pens for you Goodbye Let's get to a Look at me. Service members, anybody who's been deployed, let me know what's better. Red Bulls, Rippets, or Monsters? I'm pretty sure all OGs are going to say Rippets, which is what I'll go for. Hey, kid, what you doing there? Random kid. Rocks. Yo, let me throw... Wait, what? Rocks. Rocks! Ah! F*** these kids in the rock! <laughs> oh, it's the turbo. Oh, Everyone's like, dude, join the military. You're going to be such a bad... And then here we are out in the field just... <laughs> All day. Let me know down below in the comments the stupidest sh you would do in the field. It's basically stuff like this all day. Where's the doctor? Oh god, that eerie feeling on deployment. Look at that. I wonder what happened here. Four. When there's nobody in town and you're doing a patrol or whatever and you're going through it, you know shit's about to hit the fan. Or if there's people there and you see like kids going to hide and women going to hide and then it's nothing but males, like fighting age males, you're like, oh, it's about to get real bad. Or fun, depending on the type of person you are. Gender reveal. Is it actually a gender reveal? How are they going to do it? If they just throw smoke, this is possibly, just saying, the stupidest gender reveal I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a boy. That's it. One, you're in the field. Two, you're firing blanks. And you got BFAs on your weapon system. Three, where's your wife to show the moment? I just thought about it. You probably got a divorce. Disregard my B. A movie literally ever <laughs> that I ever play a soldier again. <laughs> I definitely want my name to be Soldier Knight. Sergeant Knight. No, soldier. Soldier Knight. I don't okay, know what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, that works. When Channing Tatum puts you in your f place, bro. Dude, the guy was like, it's Sergeant Knight, Channing Tatum. And then Channing Tatum's like, hey, stupid f What if I'm not a sergeant? Because I don't know what I'm going to do. And the guy's like, f he got me. He f got me. S***. And we got some Marines and a soldier. It's gonna be a video where the Marine just shits on the soldier. Mr. Soldier Man, you got it, baby. This dude look way younger, bro. Oh, dude, he's like, Super Butt! We can't say Sir Ma'am anymore. Ooh. Sorry, Marine Corps, I had to. Go through your flick. Make sure you have no live when I was rounds a private. on you. My dog. Checked all your equipment, everything, even your ammo passes. Yeah, sorry, and I did all that. I'm good. good to go. No, you didn't. Sir Brian, Sir Brian, Sir Brian. I got ammunition on me. I found this. One live Dude, here's a funny ass story. When I was in basic, we went to the range, right? And then the drill sergeants made this big, big ordeal. Like, more than they normally do. No live ammunition, but to go back to the barracks. Does everybody understand? We're like, Roger. And we ended up doing like four or five brass checks for live ammo and all that, okay? We ended up going back to the base. Randomly, right from the get, they do locker inspections. Everybody's in front of their locker. They start opening up all these lockers. And all of a sudden, all you hear is, what the f*** are you doing? Are you trying to f***? kill me and the drill sergeant is yelling at one of the soldiers in my platoon now all of a sudden you see him holding something in his hand and it's a round from the range when you're in basic training at this point you have a rifle everywhere you go so he could have put a live round in there and then like shot anybody right but the soldier is like crying he's like i swear to god i would never do this drill sergeant i love you so much i would never want to hurt you or my brothers and the drill sergeant grabs him by the throat puts him down i was the platoon sergeant at the time he's like nobody let him move if he moves beat the f 
out of him. And all you see is like 10 of us jump on him. We're like, Roger, drill sergeant. And then he's like crying. He's like, please. No, I didn't do this. All the other drill sergeants are like, you're going to jail. You're going to Leavenworth for at least five years. Leavenworth was like military jail. Basically, for those of you who don't know, it's, I'm going to simplify it. And then half an hour goes by, bro. We're still like on top of this dude. Like 10 of us holding him down. He's just crying. The drill sergeants walk in. They have like food and stuff. And they're like laughing and joking. They're like, Oh, you can let him go. We're just joking. We placed that there. It's pretty funny, right? And we're all like, what the f***? And then the dude was like, why would you guys do that to me, Joe Sargent? It's so rude. He literally said, so rude. And then Joe Sargent's like, oh, okay. Smoked the f*** out of us. But that was a pretty, uh, pretty great thing there. I'm sorry. I got, I got back to the room and I checked. I checked in, in my hat and it was, and it was in there. By, by the round was in his one. See, that's his one. Take your back to the barracks and I'll handle it. Yeets it. Just chucks it. <laughs> That's so f true. Name someone who sleeps more. Oof. No one sleeps more than the infantry, bro. In the infantry, bro, you be falling asleep on f tires, pointy ass rocks and sh. You be sleeping standing up, bro. Just straight up in a corner. Vampire sh dude. The phase I recommend skipping in the military. Staying indoors and not doing anything on the weekend. If you want to not get demoted, you want to not get blacked out drunk every single day just stay indoors and play video games or go to the gym for those of you who don't know i didn't drink a sip of alcohol my entire time on active duty i just stayed inside read like field manuals i would learn new shit about the military i would do my online training i would do online college courses or i would go to the gym that's pretty much it. And I probably wouldn't go outside unless someone else was doing some cool training or someone was like fighting and shit. And I was like, cool, I'm about to go get in a fight. Let's go do that. Like, that was pretty much it. All you're going to do when you go out, like I said, get fed up, get arrested, do something that's going to get you demoted, or you're going to get someone pregnant, bro. That's it. The pregnancy one, that's like the most important one, bro. Let me know down in the comments how many people you know went to the strip club on a weekend and be either getting married or getting someone pregnant. Enjoy the butterflies. Enjoy the butterflies. Enjoy being naive. Enjoy it. Yo, this Enjoy is Enjoy the real. nerves, the pressure. That's so true. If you... If you kind of want to stand on the top from day one, then there's nothing else to look forward to. That's so true. Enjoy kind of the process of making a name for yourself. This is like honestly so true. When you go to the military, you're going to hate a lot of shit. You're not going to like everything. You're going to regret a lot of stuff. I think it's the fact that we're not used to these things in the civilian sector. And you're not used to the struggle and this type of suffering and this level of commitment. And it actually makes you such a stronger person, both physically and mentally. And it really does change and reshape you as a person. And there's so many like things in the military that once you're out, you're going to look back on and be like, that was honestly the best time of my life. That's why I think there's so many like suicidal veterans. You're going to look back at the military and be like, I would give anything to go back and do that again it's like when you get older and you're like man being a kid was so much awesome in the military you just get to be a big kid doing fun shit all the time and you make so many new friends have so many new experiences and it's the ability to make all these experiences that no one else gets to take part in or even know about like you're truly part of that one percent in experiences you get to do cool new things and you get to travel to places that people couldn't even fathom i think it's really awesome and you do need to focus on making a name for yourself too like a lot of people just kind of go in there they coast they go through the motions it's like if you really work hard you go hard you make a name for yourself in the military and you don't just kind of let time go by you're gonna learn so many skills and you're gonna it's gonna help you become so successful when you get out it's all right god it's okay Bullsh**, bro. Bro, you be like, God, f you, bitch. Why did you do this to me? My thighs are chafed. My balls sweat. It's sweating into my chafing thighs, and it burns. Why did you do this to me? Influencers love to pretend to be bi and then get boyfriends. I don't like pe- Don't like More for me. <laughs> when you get Dude. Who likes wiener more than the Navy? Marine Corps! When you get caught sneaking around with the barracks yes. bunny. Oh no! Why are you lying? Who the f what are you with? Oh How sh don't you know? How don't you know? What are you gambling? Bro! For those of you who don't know what a barracks bunny is, 
It's basically the individual who literally sleeps with everybody in the barracks. Let me tell you something, barracks bunnies do exist. I know people who have literally married like two or three people in the barracks in the span of a year, sleeping with everybody. And it's like, why are you doing this? But then it's like, not a big deal. Cause then people will be like, oh, well, college is like way worse. And I'll be like, you get it right. But it's still gross because there's like only a few people in the entire barracks, but you gonna sleep with all of them? Stop it. Who the <laughs> Who the See, he's mad because he probably slept with them and he's like, this mom might be mama this week, bro. You can't sleep with her. I love you for what the f Who the f is calling me? I'm reacting to sh We don't do this. There's no way they're actually in the military. No name tape, no patches, and the color. The color up sh in movies? Ah! Stop. Don't take your shirt off, bro. Please, God. F Join the Marine Corps, they said. Oh my God. So there's times when you have to like, you do like uh, company maintenance. You'll like mow the lawns and stuff and you gotta clean all the gutters or you gotta sweep and clean up the parking lot. They be finding shit for you to do. I didn't think you could magically imagine this shit to be done, but they'll be like, listen, I want you to put your hand in the gutters, pull this shit out, clean it with a toothbrush, and I want you to pick the cracks with your hands and your gerbers and there better not be anything green. Bro, I swear to God. You think they're joking? If they say anything green in there, bro, you have to restart or you're going to get f***ed up. Picking it with your hands is the worst or finding all the cigarette buds in the parking lot. Ah! Literally the worst. Look at that as a wrench. Bro, this stuff would take hours, bro. And you'd be like, please, kind of want to go home. As for a picture. <laughs> when a new soldier asks for a picture, the new private. Hurry up. Don't. <laughs> That's the realest sh The new people come to the, uh, the company and they'll be like, hey, uh, can you take a picture of me for my mom or something? And they'll do like some cringy sh They'll be having like a bloody nose and been like, it's hard out here, but to put my life on the line. And you'll see it on Instagram and you'll be like, what the f are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's too hot outside. You passed out. You stupid b First sergeant over the class. Bro, first time they be sleeping in the ch Oh, oh. First time I'm like, listen to me. Don't ever f Get me on camera again. I'll f you up. He'll look at your, your squad leader and be like, you better beat his ass, take away his phone, all that sh All right, what kind of MRU you got, brother, brother? Beef patty? No, hell no. Who eats the beef patty like this? That's a burger. No, 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 no. The way you eat the beef patty, if you got time, you're going to heat up the beef patty, you're going to eat the beef patty by itself straight out of the thing. Just like that. Then you're going to take the cheese. You're going to put it in the heater as well. Let it get warm. Take one tortilla. Put the cheese in there. You're going to fold it. Cheese tortilla. You're going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be using none of this sauce and shit, bro. You're going to get like cancer or some shit down the road. This is where people f up. They eat MREs like they're full course meals. No, you got to eat MREs like they're little snack packets. Like you're at the movie theater, bro. You get all the little candies and the different little things. That's how you got to eat it. It's like separate condiments and shit. You don't ever like throw it all together. No, it's all about the snacks for later. You got to eat as you go. Why? Because you always hungry and you always doing shit and you never know when you get to eat. So you got to pack that shit up for later, bro. I know you on base, bro. Go to Burger King or some shit. I gotta do another MRE eating video, bro. I really do. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to do another MRE video. I'll like open up two different MREs and I'll show you guys how to eat them. Oh, bro, he about to get f***ed up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at his face, bro. Sir, my, my, bro, his face is like smushy. Like, 